Hey guys, Scully Willy here with yet another tutorial. This time we are going to talk about the plunder storm, okay? The fastest way to do it. So the first thing you're going to see if you enter the storm itself here is just Dakash Grimledger. He will show you where you at at the moment. As you can see, I'm at a level, well, 29 and I'm going to reach at level 30 pretty soonish. So the first thing, this is not, I'm not going to talk about, um, the entire storm everybody knows what the storm is so the plunder storm is basically a battle royale i'm going to show you what in my opinion is the fastest way to get some renown and to get around let us say between 700 800 renown or a little bit less because you need some luck as well that people don't change you but i'm going to show you how i do it and how i reached 30 already almost so let's go so we're going to end up on the map. The very first thing you should aim for is to find an elite and to land on it. That's the hardest part. Oh. I didn't land on a very good spot here. I got a one over here, but I'm not going to make it. So, and now you're going to see here where your quests are, what I have to do. Open two chests. So that's going to be my main goal here. Searching for two chests. Basically, got a, an ability here. Start using the ability and do not forget these plunders here, these piles of gold. That is the actual reputation. Yeah, as you can see on the right side, I got 32 reputation so far, but this is not really a good spot to find chests. But I'm just gonna keep going, pull as much as you can. They don't do a lot of damage, but try to strafe around because all of these. Um, Mobs tend to have frontals. See? This one here has a frontal. And you will not take a lot of damage. Your second button will always be your health pool. These elites here, they will always drop a certain spell. It's RNG, so we cannot know which spell it will be. But I highly suggest at the start, and if the zone is safe enough for you. See? I got a very good ability here. Just kill off... As many as you can, because as you can see here, I'm in a pretty safe zone now. So what I'm going to start doing now is I got a full utility now to work with. It's not the best, but I can work with it. So the first one I have is Rhyme Arrow. The good one about that one is that I don't have to aim at anything. It will aim for you. And the second one is basically a huge AOE spell. If you watch the guides already, guides already, everybody will say, this is broken. Most definitely broken. There you go. As you can see here, I'm not hunting the chests straight ahead. Why not? Because I have the opportunity here to collect quite some reputation. As you can see, I already got 140. And I don't have competition here. Always try to land in zones where you don't have competition. Many people tend to hover over the map and try to find a good spot here. But, in my opinion, I'm trying to land as fast as possible. And after 30 uh, levels already, I learned to know the map quite well. As you can see here, there is a chest over here. I will go for the chest. Let's see if I can open it before they actually hit me. Yes, that's chest 1. There you go, they are dead. And now we're going to search for chest number two. I don't know if there are any chests here because the chests do not spawn at always at the same positions. I have a chest over there. And then basically I am safe for the rest of the match. I'm going to have my renown. As you're going to see here. There you go. I got 500 renown in less than five minutes. And this is basically how you should approach every single fight. You're going to have different quests. Like for me it was search for two quests. It can be kill two elites. Try to land on an elite. And that's already a safe kill. Yeah. Another quest and that's the hardest one in my opinion. Is find two items. What are items? Basically those are the things in your... Um, like here over here as you can see. The barrel is an item. And... Yeah the barrel is an item. And... Um, you have several options here. 
And that can be the harder quest to find because it's a bit, bit RNG. And then the easiest quest you're going to have is the chests, the elites, and basically just collecting three spells. Or collecting three plunder. That one can be done in less than a minute, basically. If you land on an elite and you know a few good locations, then you're going to be golden. But as you can see here, I already got like 600 in less than 5.20 seconds now. I'm monitoring this. And as you can see, I'm not really having to struggle with other people so far. I know what you're going to say. Hey, Scully, you're just lucky here. Yes, I am lucky here. Sometimes I'm having matches where I can only collect like 100 or 200 or 300. But don't give up, guys. I didn't give up either. I don't like PvP. Everybody that watches my stream know I hate PvP with all my heart. And basically, keep doing it. Now, just try to farm as many. Try to find a movement utility if you can. Or this one here is really good to get out of. This is a this is a bush basically, and you can't imagine how many people I fooled with this already. That's trying to kill me before I have my objects. As soon as you have your objectives, you have two options: keep going like I'm doing now, or just die as fast and requeue for the five minutes so that's two options you have okay but as you can see here i'm doing this for six and a half minutes now and i already have almost 700 plunder plunder is basically just reputation guys there is nothing to it it's only collecting the plunder that matters. They say you're gonna get way more um, plunder when you kill other people and to a certain degree that's true but it will take you some time as well. See as you can see here I'm just collecting ice and I haven't encountered a single other player yet. If I encounter another player I will not engage him. I will just let him kill me and then I can requeue and that means I can start this all over again. This is a grind, guys. This is a long grind. As you can see, there, there are other players over there. In the far distance, as you can see. But that doesn't mean anything yet. I'm gonna keep killing stuff. You, you can see other rewards. If you see the same spell as yours it up because each time you pick it up it will upgrade to level 4 that's the maximum you can have it basically from grey like my rhyme arrow as you can see here is a grey item I can upgrade that <coughs> up to epic quality and if you level up I'm level 7 now if you level up your HP goes up and your damage goes up as well so it makes other people harder to kill you actually yeah so, there is another player here. I'm gonna engage him. I will die most likely because I'm terrible at PvP. Unless he is worse than me. I don't think so. Normally I just die. Now, I'm just gonna try to see. See, I'm dead. I got my pet for level 30. And I made 737 in less than 10 minutes. So 10 minutes is a long time. If you want to do it in 3 minutes or 6 minutes or 5 minutes, just die as fast as possible and then just requeue. But the time will always be around 10 minutes. Nonetheless, the tactic you use. So basically, you can collect around 700 to 800 renown. I even went up to 1000 at a certain point, around 10 minutes. It all depends on where you land on the map, but this is by far the fastest. So don't engage in PvP because that will just extend your time and your frustration. Or if you're good in PvP, you can of course do it, but I hate PvP, so it will just extend your duration of um, yeah, being frustrated and stuff like that. So Let's do this. So a fast recap, land on an elite, try to avoid as much PvP as possible, 
try to kill as many mobs as possible, try to collect movement speeds, and then just keep um, farming the PvE uh, um, creatures. And if you encounter another player after you're done with your main world quests, then just die and rinse and repeat, and you will be done. You have to consider that it can take up to 50 minutes for one level, so this is not um, this is not an easy grind. Well, it's an easy grind, but it's a hard grind and a tedious grind. Okay, I hope you learned a little bit from this. I'm not explaining the blunder storm, the plunder storm itself. I'm just showing you how I approach it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.